There's a few people in your life, I think, that have been really important. I would like to uh, read them out, and maybe you can say something what you learned from them. It's okay? And of course. Um, Ray Charles, Georgia, on my mind. First time you heard her, I think you were 12 years old, I think. Um, yeah. Can you take me back to the moment that you heard this song? Oh, yes, I remember. I, I, I mean, what I, what I realized with, uh, uh, with uh, Ray Charles, I, 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 I was not able to formulate it, to express it because I was too young, but what, what, why and what the shock is actually I realized that music was not made about, uh, only about uh, notes and solfeggio. But but means about but but about feelings, sounds, and uh, and uh, organic elements. And uh, I think uh, the fact that uh, music before before music shouldn't be taught uh, the way we are teaching music these days with the solfeggio and all that. I mean, it's like asking a child to. Uh, uh, read and write before speaking. Because music is made of sounds. Music is made of emotions and feelings and we have to educate children like this. And Ray Charles gave me this feeling. The fact that uh, his music was, uh, for me, uh, before everything else, sounds like jazz can be, in a sense. This is the reason why that, uh, which is quite strange, is uh, jazz for me is quite close to electronic music because it's, uh, it's sound design. And, and, and Ray Charles, for me, is the first sound designer of soul and rhythm and blues. Yeah. Um, Pierre, forgive me my wrong pronunciation, I think, but... Pierre Schaeffer. Pierre, Pierre Soulage. Ah, Pierre Soulage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he gave me... Uh, he gave me uh, the... Uh, it was a, an absolute shock. I, he gave me the, the uh, desire to maybe becoming a painter instead of a musician. And uh, the idea that uh, 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 approaching painting not to uh, in a narrative content, but just uh, deal, dealing with uh, uh, de dealing with uh, material, dealing with uh, uh, yeah, de dealing with elements and not with uh, stories. And um, the last one. Um... Really, really, really fascinating story. Uh, your mother, what did she taught you? Because she was a French resistance. Uh, what did she What did she teach you? Yeah, it's very funny you're talking about uh, my mom now because uh, two weeks ago, I went to my hometown and her hometown in Lyon uh, because uh, Lyon gave uh, the name of my mom for a street. Okay. And uh, uh, what she, she, uh, she taught me a lot of things, but one thing she taught, taught me is uh, to... Um, uh, not making confusion between ideology and people. Like, for instance, after the war, not, not, not mixing Nazis and German people, for instance. And that really gave me uh, uh, the idea that uh, uh, you should not, uh, as an artist, boycott anybody and any country. Uh, this is the reason why in my, in my life I went in, into so many different countries, and like recently in Saudi Arabia. I think we should, we have to go where people have even less freedom than, than ourselves. Because, uh, because if we don't do it, it's like a double punishment for these people. If on top of the fact that they don't, they're not able to express themselves, they cannot have access to movies, to music, to books. I mean, it's, uh, we, we are then, uh, uh, we are then uh, uh, promoting alienation and radicalization and all that. And I think when they're, one day we'll have to go to Afghanistan these days. I, we, we have to, because these people, they, have, they are totally isolated. They have no internet. They have no radio. They have no TV. So they need to, they, they are desperate to get some contacts with music, with arts, and not only uh, with their just uh, uh, dicta di dictators. I mean, I think we should go. And all the people say, ah, yes, but you know, when you go in these countries, uh, you, you, you're helping uh, the dictators because they can use that for the propaganda. All this is bullshit. I think we, 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 you have to go. I mean, culture is a tro Trojan, heart, tro Trojan horse. It's yeah. what my mom taught me that. 
How special was it for you to have the name of your mother on a street sign in Lyon? Very special because I felt I, I thought suddenly that people will meet each other, we love each other, we leave each other in the street having the name of my mom. And I, I think it's the the great the greatest feeling. And also the fact that uh, between my, my, my dad, who is a very known uh, film composer, myself and her, the less notorious, the less, uh, uh, the less popular person of the, of the family, is the one who has the first recognition of the street. So it's quite cool. Yeah, I think that's really, yeah, really, really special then. Yeah. Yeah. But what does it? But what does what does this tell you then? That the like you were saying, your father, you, and your mother, and your mother is the first one. What is the lesson in 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 this story? Uh, the lesson in this story is actually uh, uh, probably uh, that uh, what uh, the fact that actually. Uh, it's it's difficult. Uh, being a hero is something so special, and she was a heroine, and we are we are just uh, clowns as artists, you know. And it's important because you can a clown can change the world also. But but uh, but in in a sense, being a hero by by I mean, decided to to uh, risk your own life to save uh, people is something that that you cannot compare something else a different different uh, different area yeah um thank you for your time jean michel i really appreciated the conversation so thank you and i hope that uh, martin will be able to uh, meet uh, face to face another time in the future hopefully uh, any any plans to visit uh, the the netherlands sometime soon yeah because i have uh, uh, some friend i've uh, my friend Armin van Buren and a lot of other, 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 other friends. And of course, these days we've been a bit isolated, but uh, I, I really love Netherlands and I'm, I'm looking forward uh, in, in my next, uh, my next projects uh, uh, that I will be able to, to spend a bit of time in, uh, in Netherlands, Amsterdam, okay. Rotterdam, or well, wherever. Well, see, see you then. Great. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.